Whilst Wings do. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait, is someone hey, late? Oh! Alright everybody, what is up? This is Pure Fred, and today I am bringing you one of the videos that I have put as much time as I can into, and I have had this video requested, and this is how to make modded paint jobs for cars on GTA. Again, this requires the two consoles and the net cut. You guys should know this by now. If you haven't watched the video I posted two days ago, link is in the description. It explains net cut, how to set it up, and all that good stuff. Today I'm going to be explaining how to make paint jobs, explaining paint jobs, explaining textures, explaining everything behind the modded paint. A lot of information here is correct, but if anything is incorrect, please correct me in the comments and I'll update. If not the video, I'll update it in the comments instantly. This is the video where I will explain as in depth as I can on everything with modded paint jobs. Two things, they're okay. There are two types of modded paint jobs. There's what we call worn, and then there is the 3D mix. Worn is the easiest one. Worn I can get out of the way right now. Worn is, it will look like this. This is a, a two-tone matte. Worn has an extremely, extremely, extremely similar texture to what a matt has honestly you need there is a way to find out the difference between a worn and the matte but what we can do is we can create our own what people call crew rgb warns per se every car you'll find now specifically for the people who are big into trading now a lot of the cars you'll find that are worn are more than likely what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a crew color matte basically I call it worn, it's popularly known as worn, but there are people who are extremely precise with what's worn and whatnot. For the sake of this video, we will be making, I will explain how to make what we will call a worn paint. This is all going to be with this tutorial. Anyway, moving on to the second one. 3D. This one is a bit more harder to explain. 3D is when you have a crew color on top of a metal base, on top of pure gold, brush gold, or I believe it's brush steel, the first one. What this does is it gives you what you see down here. It gives you when you go into the sun or the dark, one or the other, it gives you a very metal texture, so where you can see the metal. And when you go into a spot with less light, like LSC, you get to see the color itself, like the blue and purple. Let me see if I have another image. This is the outside. This is me looking from this side. Then I drive into the shadow, and you can see the metal. And then when I drive inside, you can see the blue and purple mix. 3D is this. Worn is what you can call this. Now, a lot of people will confuse you crew for a modded color. Please, please understand. Crew colors are not modded colors. They do not count as modded colors. Yes, to some new traders, they will call it modded colors. A crew color is not a modded color. Please, please don't call it a modded color and please don't go out trading it. Crew color is when you go to social club and you just type in a hex code and you make your own type of color from it. It's the texture that matters. This is the crew color texture. It's called utility texture. Hey guys, quick interruption here. I just want to mention that you cannot have two crew colors on one car at the same time. Not possible. Let's get back to work now. Texture. This is a 3D texture when you have metal and the crew color on top of it. And then this is a worn texture. This is not modded. War, uh, sorry, crew color is not a modded color. 3D is 100% modded. Worn, what we're going to be doing is modded because it gives you a crew color matte, basically. It's all clean. Warns and 3Ds are clean. Crew colors are not clean. There are multiple ways to have... What? Well, okay, some people, they, they're they clean is if the car doesn't have a pearlescent selected on it. It's extremely easy to make a crew color have no pearlescent. All you have to do is go buy... For example, if you go to Metallic, if you apply the, crew, the color Mariner Blue... And then you go put crew on top of it, it will give you no pearlescent. Some people will call that clean.
That's not clean. Clean is no pearlescent, period. And then you 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 need to know a little bit about cars to tell that if it's a crew color, I'm sorry, if it's a 3D or a worn. Once you have that covered, you're basically good to start understanding and making car paint jobs. To spout it out for anybody who's new to trading in cars, this is what clean is. Clean is the car must have a Yankton. The the colors on the wheel must not be selected, and the paint must be what I was talking about here. It must be a 3D or a worn, and it must not have a pearlescent selected on it. Those are the three minimum things for clean. Some people, and I hope you guys aren't watching this video because I don't like the people who trade like this, their clean is what I named, plus no bulletproof, plus either green or clear windows, plus Patriot smoke, plus an unselected neon color, and the wheels sh should be an F1 or a Benny's. No, come on, that's kind of over the top. Yankton, paint job, wheels. This glitch, we won't start with the two consoles online at the same time. I'm going to show you guys how to get set up. So, once you have your card that you want the paint job on, I'm going to be using this busted up Mamba that I just have green tints on. Get into it. Now, this can be done in multiple places. It can be done of anything that you can have a mechanic in. I know 100% it works in Arena Workshop so, and LSC. What's up? What I, are we doing then? I know the MOC bunker mechanic works as I've modded the paint on the back of the MOC. I know the hangar mechanic works. You can make your own modded paint on planes. Um, so I recommend for this, use your Arena Workshop because you can go in and out of the workshop fast in the arena workshop and you can spawn here now that we've got that settled get into your car bring it over here first thing we're going to do is we're going to bust the paint job completely make it a metallic black for both primary and secondary now something i need to say please listen closely warn you cannot have it as your pri as your primary what we do is we use a matte base and mats, all mats, they all come with pearlescents. And you can't have, they all come with a black pearlescent. You might not see it, but it's, if you access it, you can see that it has a black pearlescent using the pearlescent mat glitch. What you can do is you can do what I call a mix of both, let me find the picture, both matte and both 3D. Look closely here. I've made the secondary a matte texture, and I've made the primary a 3D texture. It's a beautiful mix, honestly. You can see the difference here, the difference here, just the difference between the top and the, the base of the body. And I'll make it even a little bit bigger for anybody who can't see. Look at that difference. 3D, worn, per se. This is the most you can do, or you can do this you can either do a full 3d or a mix you cannot do a full matte worn unless you start with a worn and that's for a different video today i'm just going to be explaining the majority of paint jobs how to make them all that good stuff you guys already know what you're getting into let's start doing this once you have your car fully metallic black decide either if you want to do a 3d or a full matte worn i'm sorry a half matte worn once you selected, we're going to be doing a, we're going to start with primary because primary is always going to be the metals, always going to be the metals. Now for metals, only ones you can use is pure gold, brush gold, and brush steel, brush black steel and aluminum. They come with a pearlescent, cannot use that. You need to be use one of these three. Pure gold will give it this type of texture, and brush gold will give it a more calm texture like this. Something that's not extremely reflective, basically. I like pure, I like brush gold, I'm going to go with brush gold. Once you select that you want to use brush gold, go on your console 1, and meet me right back here. I'll be with you guys in just a minute. Peace, peace. Alright guys, now that we've loaded in, I'm going to keep my Xbox Series up over here on the left side for the time being, so you guys, you know... You guys know that uh, I'm going to be logging into it later. So, on console 1, 
I'm going to do this two times. It's never safe to do two. It's never safe to do primary and secondary at the same time. It always bugs out somehow for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to just go into our car we're going to be using. That's It should already be metallic black. Make sure it's already metallic black. If not, make it metallic black. Drive out. Outfit save. And then exit. I'm sorry. Then enter. So it actually saves properly. Okay. Now, if, if you've... If you know how to do this, or if you listen earlier, we can only make primary a metal base. It's only going to be 3D. So, choose either brush gold, I'm sorry, pure gold, brush gold, or brush steel. Once you've chosen one of those three, hover over it. I'm going to be doing brush gold. Hover over it, and then head over to net cut. Once you you should already have this set up. If not, again, check the description. I have a video posted and start hitting it offline and we're going to do the correct thing and we're going to check okay message is not loading it once i've been able once i'm able to access gta on my second console i'll get back to you guys then i'll see you soon all right guys check it out we finally loaded up gta on our second console now we're going to load into an invite only session in the meantime i'm going to explain what's going to happen you must already have a crew color if you don't have a crew color, join a crew, get a crew color, make a crew, so you have the freedom of changing your crew color anytime you want. I believe we're using some kind of minty green one, and we'll see in just a minute. In fact, I can just check for you guys right now on console one. Yeah, it's we're going to be using a minty green type of color. So if you look closely, you can see the utility texture on it. It has like a light glossy type of look to it. We're going to make it have a. We're going to have a. We're going to make it have this type of texture like a metal texture plus it's going to be minty green so all we do on console 2 is all we do sorry all we do on console 2 is apply the crew color on primary if that's what we're doing yeah we're doing primary so we're just going to be applying the crew color while we hover over the metal that we want on console 1 so it's metal i mean sorry it's metallic black that means that the save went through originally. That's good. If you come back and it's not metallic black and it's something else like that you might have changed, you're going to have issues. So you're going to have to restart. Console 2, all we do is we go to respray, primary, apply crew, exit the workshop. Then we're going to outfit save and dashboard. So check it. An outfit save is when you change your outfit two times. Not to a duffel bag outfit, you guys know that. Get the orange circle in the bottom right. And we're just going to do Franklin. And we're just going to dashboard here. I'm going to stop streaming, like usual. Now moving on to console 1. This is going to be a bit trickier with timing. We're going to hover over what we want. We're going to, right now, we're going to reconnect the Xbox by dragging it back. Pressing A. Exit workshop. And right as it allows you to pause your game, right around here, look in the bottom right, see the circle, pause your game, leave GTA online. My A button got kind of stuck there. If you don't see that orange circle go by and it says that your saving has failed, you might get the glitch to work. You probably won't though. What we're going to do is we're going to load into story mode, load back online. Once we've loaded back online, I will get with you guys then. See you soon. Alright guys, we've just loaded back into an invite only session. If you are using the arena like I said, there's a little trick that I like to do. We're just going to go right into first person once we spawn in. It likes to take its time in the Xbox One. And as we go past the door, we can take a quick peek at the Mamba and get our answer now. Okay, I see to have a glossy look. Let's see what we could have got from it this time. All right, all right, very, very, very interesting. So it looks to have eight. What the hell is this? Hmm. So, what's up? What can I do? It's very interesting what we've got in here. So it looks like we've got in a mix of. What can I even say? It's not brush gold. It's not brush steel. 
but yet we have a some kind of metallic look to it. All right, guys, check this and hear me out. This is also very good because we have a modded paint job. What our mistake has just given us is a modded paint job. Now look, if you go, hear me out, if you go to your secondary color and you go in crew and it changes the whole car, you can apply this and you'll have what we were going for. You can't see it too well, but it has that, it still has that, if you look at the top of the hood and then you look at, I'm sorry, if you look at the top of the top, if you look at the top of the car and you look down at the hood, it still gives us that 3D look in the hood. This is, if I accept right now, which I am, it, 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 it basically just made us what we were about to do. We basically got it the same way. So if that happens to you, if you have a metal base on it still, but it didn't give you the crew color, you can go on whichever one that you just did not do. Like we did primary, we did not do secondary. And you go to crew and you apply it. The top, this part where, I'm, where you can see changing, that's not modded, that's, that's still crew. But the second one, ready? You're gonna see a difference when I when I hover over crew. You can see the difference of the card changing. This is crew. This is the 3D texture that we have on it. Crew. You can you can even see if I zoom in, where my mouse is right here. Look at the top of the tire. You can see utility. And then you go back, you can see right here, you can see here, you can see that metallic cover to it. Look, utility, metallic, utility, metallic. You can see it. We failed. But we just made a we failed the saying is tax task successfully failed right we failed it but we still have a modded paint job now all we have to do is make the secondary modded here you're more flexible you can either go again with that metal you know what we we just did that metal color or you can go with a matte texture on it this time it's going to be the same minty green but it's gonna have a matte look to it we're gonna go with matte so once again change the metallic change whatever is not modded our primary is now modded we've succeeded now look ready primary no pearlescent and if i go to crew you can see the texture of the car change if the texture of the car is changing that means you have got the paint job to become modded we now have gold on top we have gold under the crew color we failed but we were able to fix it and make it still have the modded paint job that we were going for originally. Now, we're going to make the secondary modded. You don't have to watch here anymore. All you do is you do the same thing that we just did. You just hover over the mat or the metal. Go on console to apply crew. And then you reconnect. Apply the mat or the metal. Drive out. Pause. Story mode. You're done. Anyone who wants to watch me do it. Please do stay tuned. Let's get into work. Once you've applied the metallic black, back out. Change your outfit twice. And get that orange circle. Orange circle obtained. We've been saved. Let's go hover over. We're going to be doing matte. We're going to give that little nice matte texture with it. What are we doing then? What's it going to be? Let's do this. Secondary matte. Any of these will work. It's all the textures getting transferred. Now here, listen to this. Sometimes, very, very rarely, you will get the matte. It will let's say we use dark blue. You're gonna come back, it's gonna be dark blue, but if you come to matte, it's not gonna be selected. So you'll have it half modded. And if that happens, you can either keep it. Or you can dump it and try a different color. Keeping it will allow you to make more. This is what you can do to make a set, basically. If you merge this to another car, you can change the primary to a different color. And let's say we get orange. Every car you have will have the secondary to be orange and the primary can be changeable. It will technically be completely clean as it's not a selected color. But we are going for that minty green look. So hover over one of these. Lag your second console. Sorry, lag your first console until you can access the second one. Once we're over done the second one, I'll get back to you. See you soon. 
Alrighty now guys, we have loaded into the second console. Again, all we're gonna do is go into the Mamba. It should be black on the top, and I think it is. I just peeked at it. Remember, if it's not black, you need to restart. Or if it's it's not made if it's not what you did beforehand, like if this thing was completely sea green, mint green, then we need to restart because it's not gonna modify it properly. So, Make sure it's that black that we always apply. Alright. You guys know the deal. Second console is the only is the only one where you apply crew. It's the only crew one. You know, it, it, it's your crew console. You can call it that. Exit workshop. Outfit save. Franklin dashboard. You know the deal by now. One orange circle. Second one won't hurt. Ooh, almost switched to one with a duffel bag. There goes our orange circle. Over to Franklin. Accept. And we are dashboarding. Alright, now the crew is applied. Disconnect as always. Then all we're doing, remember, we're hovering over red. Reconnecting the Xbox. Accepting. Exiting workshop. Pausing right away. Waiting for that orange circle. Alright. And leaving GTA online. Once we've loaded back into an invite only, I'll catch up with you guys then. See you soon. Alright guys, sorry for the bit of a late return. Looking good so far. I just peeked at it. I did see a mint green on top of it. Let's see what we have here. And we are looking at a worn or Matt crew. It's worked. It has worked. Now, it is kind of hard to see, but it is not utility. You can kind of look right here. You can kind of see the difference. Uh, to make it a little bit easier, I will try to drive this outside for you guys. If you guys just wanted to watch the glitch, you're good to go. You guys are good. The glitch is over. Thank you again for watching the video. But if you want to check this out and see how it looks like, you can stay tuned. Let's see if we can find an angle on where this thing really shows off. Yeah, in the shade you can tell pretty easily that it is a half worn half 3D. You can tell the difference of the, the textures right here. Uh, let's see if we can see from the front. No, nothing in the front. Just right here, you can you can easily tell. You can, you can see how much brighter this is and darker this is. And that's it, guys. We have just made a modded paint job. Please, please, if you have two consoles, take advantage of this. Don't give in to those car creators and don't pay them money. Do it yourself if you have two consoles. Don't pay money for video game paint jobs make them yourself it's more fun anyways thank you for watching this this was a long video i know i went into as much detail as i could again please ask me questions any questions with this i know there will be questions with this it is a bit of a confusing glitch but anyway enjoy take care and i'm out your friend style peace out